Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Stan 11 show, Everton versus Brentford, a game that feels really pivotal just because of the uh, fixtures that we're coming into um, as we move into December. Um, it feels like one of those games that I've Everton have to win. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. In goal, obviously, Jordan Pickford. A great display last time out for Everton at West Ham and obviously just come off... Um, couple of decent games for England as well. One in Greece did particularly well. Obviously didn't have to do much against Ireland, but um, yeah, let's hope another clean sheet now that he doesn't have to do too much on Saturday. Back four, um, the full back positions are just, <laughs> it's, I think last time out I picked Patterson and I picked Ashley Young at left back. I don't, I don't know. I don't, you know, you, you, Patterson surely at some point got to start, start, it's got to start starting games, especially with how many games there are in December. You know, Ashley Young can't be playing every single game at right back. And you've got to wonder about Michalenko. Obviously, he's just played international football, but. Is he going to be able to play every game just with his injury record? I imagine he is because his record over the last couple of years has been pretty good. It's just the last sort of six months his injury record hasn't been great. Um, it depends what you want to do. It depends whether you want to be attacking. It depends whether you want to be defensive. I think Brentford are there to be opened up. They uh, they are so open away from, from away from home, and that's what leads them to have. Um, no wins on the road and have conceded quite a lot of goals. So, yeah, it's whichever way you want to play. I, I think this would be a great opportunity for Nathan Patterson to start. So I'm going to go for Nathan Patterson at right back and I'm going to go for Michalenko at left back. I think Ashley Young has done well. I have no issue with Ashley Young whatsoever, but he can't be playing every single game in December and you're going to have to dip him in and dip him out. And I think home games are better for Patterson because we need to be more on the front foot. Um, Seamus obviously is struggling with fitness and it Patterson's the backup right back or you know, we, a lot of people believe he should, should be first choice. So for me, I'm going to go for Nathan Patterson and I'm going to go for Michalenko at left back. Um, and try and get a bit of a balance one on one side. We'll do the defending um, more, and on the other side, Patterson more of the attacking. Uh, the two centre backs, James Tarkowski and Jared Brantwaite. Obviously, Jared Brantwaite had sort of like a little scare with England, obviously, never quite um, got to the level they needed him to be for the two games. Came back, but it seems like he's fit. So. I would go for it. those two, obviously, as the centre backs, and that is the they're obviously the first choice. Uh, into midfield, um, obviously, again, the last time out, we had uh, Adisagana Gay and Mangala playing in just in front of the back four. Mangala playing more as a number six, obviously, Ghana going out and uh, pressing, and you know, Harry and we had the Corey ahead of them. And temptation might be to drop the Corey back into that role, but I just think if both of them are uh, sort of pressing all over the pitch or I think you, you lose that play you just sit in front of the back four and I think that's where when Fulham scored against us that's where that goal came from having no one just sitting and protecting the front so I'm going to go from uh, Mangala and, and Adisagana Gay as those two playing in front and I think that allows then the three in front to be a lot more um, they still obviously have to be defensive minded but I think there's there's more room for them to be attacking certainly at home which you know we should be on the front foot playing home especially against a team like Brentford who've conceded so many goals so um, I'm going to go for Lindstrom on the right I think there's signs there I think there are signs there that he with a decent little run could be a, could be a good asset it's just not quite there yet but I think with a few more games under his belt under quick succession which we'll get in the next few weeks that there might be a player under there. Um, so I'm going to go for him. I'm going to go for Njai on the left just because I think, I know there's been talk of him playing obviously as a number 10 and I'd like to see that happen. But I think I'm going to, I'm going to play Dwight McNeil in that number 10 for now. Um, 
and let's see, let's see whether they can sort of rotate themselves and Dwight McNeil maybe move on to that left at times. I thought against West Ham that would be a perfect opportunity for Njai. Um Certainly late on in the game, I thought it would have been, but obviously the manager chose not to take it. Uh, apparently there's no evidence that he's a number 10, even though there's quite a lot of evidence, starting with the number on the back of his shirt. Um, but it might just be a case for now that Njai playing off the left and McNeil playing central gets a bit more out of them than if Njai was playing central and McNeil was playing on the left. Maybe. But we'll see. We'll see how that develops. But I think that's a... I think, you know, McNeil, we missed those set pieces at West Ham. We certainly did. You know, that's one of the things we um, we could have done with down there. And, and obviously for this game, there's, you know, it's always a... It's always a um, Great opportunity for Evan to get goals when McNeil's on set pieces. So obviously he's come he'll come back into the side for this one. Um and up front, Dominic Carvin Lewin. Um I think at West Ham I went for four four two, but I think I'd go for Dom, but I'd like to see Beto come on and play up front with Dom at some point, maybe the last half an hour, and then make then if you want to take Dom off and go with Beto up front. But I for me I still think it's all about the service to Dom or Beto. I thought when Beto come on at West Ham, again, he, he was given nothing. Um, and it was, you know, it's loads of, people want to see Beto start. I appreciate that. I just, I want to see him coming off the bench more and affecting the game and playing up front with Dom. The, the manager might look at some point and say, no, it's time to rest, let's leave Dom and put Beto and maybe with more games again with December, that's what the manager will, will do. But for me, at home, I still think Dom is the best option. You've just got to provide the service. And that's maybe McNeil maybe playing on the left-hand side would help, would help with that. I don't know, but that's the 11 I'm going to go for anyway. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Who would you go for for this game? Um, it's a game we, we need to win. It really is. If we can win this game, it, it sets us up a lot better for um, December, obviously. And then the next home game after the Man United game is Wolves. And you think, right, that's another one we can win. And, you know, the likes of the derby that takes care of itself, and so just get try and get the three points for God's sake, or try and go out there and play like a team trying to get three points. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Who would you play in this team? Make sure to check out the match preview with Baz and myself. Thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs>